this video, we'll be seeing how to create an application in Android Studio. This video is for absolute beginners in Android development. First of all, create a new Android Studio project. Now here, we have to select the activity for our application. You can select any of these activities. But for now, select the empty activity and click next. Now give a name to your application. Now you can change the package name of the application. This is the location to which your project will be saved. And in the next option, you can select the language that you like to use. Now I am going with Java. Minimum SDK means the minimum version of Android required by your application. Now I have selected KitKat. That means the Android versions below KitKat will not be able to use this application. If you select Lollipop, then KitKat users will not be able to run your application. So for now, I am going with KitKat and now click finish. Now wait till your project gets completely built. Now you can see a folder named Java. Now inside this folder, we will be keeping all our Java programs and we will only be using the folder com.firstapp.app and this is the package name that we have given earlier and we don't have to use these two folders they will be automatically generated so if you want to add a new java file just right click the folder and click new and java class give the name and click ok and the new java file will be created now after that go to res resources and inside layout you will see your layout files we will be doing all our designing part inside the layout file and we will be keeping all our images and all those things inside the drawable folder now let's add some changes to the layout you can see that a hello world is already present a text view showing hello world is already present now if you want to add a image first of all you have to copy the image and paste it inside the folder drawable make sure that you select the folder drawable don't select the folder drawable hyphen version 24 select the version drawable folder and click ok now here we have to make sure the file name doesn't contain any capital letters and also there are some constraints that you have to keep while naming the file so always use small letters now click ok and you can see the file is added to the drawable file folder if you double click it you can see the file now let's add this image go to the palette common and image view sometimes the palette might be minimized and it will look like this so just click the palette and you can see the palette 
opening and after that drag and drop the image view now select the image and click ok now you can see the image is too large now go to the attributes and change the layout width to match parent and layout height to 300 dp now you can see the image is properly sized after that you have to give some constraints as this is a constraint layout in android there are so many layouts that you can use here we are using constraint layout so in constraint layout we have to specify constraints in order to hold the views in proper position so simply click these plus symbols that will automatically set the constraints now the image view is properly placed if you like to change the hello world text to something else you can change it on the attribute side now you can see the text has changed now if you like to edit the codes click the edit with preview option now you can see the XML code of this layout simply specify text size you can see the suggestion select the text size and specify 20 dp now you can see the text has enlarged a little now give it a style text style make it bold now you can see the text is a little bit bold you can view the preview again by clicking the preview option here on the top on the right side you can split it and again view it in the preview now if you want to run the application you have to select the emulator if you don't have any avds created open the avd manager and create a new virtual device select the device you like to create and click next select the android version you like to create and click next and here it is the avd name name of the emulator if you don't don't want to change simply click finish and the emulator will be created after that close the avd manager and here select the device and click the play button that will open the avd for you and install the application automatically now you can see the application is launched inside the emulator with an image view and a text view saying my first app hope you understand how to create an application in android if you don't know to set up android studio watch the previous video and the link is provided in the description if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more such videos